I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So we're confronting the head of the PMC that has been controlling London. I can do that. Where to? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and confit. him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is very suspicious. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We've found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Hey, soft air. You must be rubbing off on me, cos... I just wanted to say... You did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there. Fighting the good fight. Hope I'll see you out there too. Laters. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Good. Let's introduce ourselves. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. This is somebody who is very paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. All right.
I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagley, have you noticed the windows up there? They seem suitable. Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Fine. Leave it to me. Jesus. You weren't joking about Hamish's affinity for traps? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Fine. Leave it to me. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, all right, let's just think this through. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? I'm offended. Think more antithetically. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Hold it! Albion knows you're in London. So don't kill me, just run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, Cass is worse than you know. Obviously. Why else do you think I'm here? For a bloody chat? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. Idiot. We want your help. We aren't with Cass. He's the bastard that's behind the bombings and tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, you think, you think. Shit, fine. From the table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Shit. 
don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. Jesus Christ. Putting an end to the chase now. Immobilizing the... Where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. I should go remind those pricks that hurting a dead sack member is a very bad idea. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Uh-huh. Hmm. Tower of London! Hello? You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? We don't break in by choice. Nigel Cass has big meeting. He plans to unveil a new project. This is bad news for City and for us. We need to stop him. This is why we joined Deadsick, no? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Send me what info you have. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. How will we recruit the fucking Albion? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. You look like trouble. You like to fight for freedom? Are you dead, Sec? Oh, thank God. I need your help. Why don't you say what the problem is first? Then we see. My friend has a rare blood disorder, and with the state of the NHS these days, he's no longer able to get proper treatment. So we went to one of Clan Kelly's doctors. I know, I know, stupid, but we were desperate and we could afford it. Yes, I'm hearing you. The drugs worked. Too well, if anything. 
My friend is hooked, and now that quack is jacking up the price. I don't know how we're going to manage. Son of a fuck. Don't worry. We will get your friends his drugs. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Good work. Can you track him down? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. The Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. Seems he's got a laptop with him too, presumably with a folder somewhere on it labelled Crimes. There's the laptop. <laughs> laptop scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Yes, I understand. There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. I have the vehicle. What do I do now? I found a safe location where a friend can pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now.
It is done now. We take care of him. We have your medicine. It is safe now in vehicle, waiting for you to pick up. We will send you the location. I'm in your debt. You seem tough, like a fighter. We like this in Dead Sick. You want to join? Consider me in. We need more cheeky fucks like you with us. People who like to get their hands dirty. I must say, I'm rather looking forward to the experience. Let's go hunt some baddies. Fantastic. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Investigation underway. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You certainly know an awful lot about Nigel Cass. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for God's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. I give up. Let's regroup. This new project the director's presenting upstairs is a game changer. Can't wait to see it roll out. This is going to make our jobs that much easier and safer. Yeah. You don't think it's going to make certain uh, aspects of our job redundant, do you? Not a chance. Director Cast takes care of his own. You know that. Fair point. Everything is proceeding on schedule, and Mr. Cass is as determined as ever to make the White Tower as safe as possible from terrorist attacks. I believe he has ensured that every security measure is properly taken so that we are all well prepared. Um, Does he like to come in? Oh, God, I haven't got enough to do. Dealing with construction. I heard someone saying, Dead 
They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Grand. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. I was naughty last week. I went on a bit of a shopping spree. You've been up there, Leah? There are some parts of this city that need a good work in Guava with some heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always an element. Sure, but I thought we'd taken care of them. I've heard some talk on the street that they may be found. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Let's see it. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have... Good Lord, uh, Nigel does have issues. And now all of London is trapped in his little psychodrama. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Seems a bit tense. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up. He wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you, that with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention, a building-wide security sweep has been initiated Everybody, due to Dorian Breach. 
I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit, pronto. The catacombs, fam. You an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. Sounds like he plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's the sort of genie that goes back in the bottle. I don't like this one bit. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Not too bad for a first go, if I do say so myself. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Um, was that a compliment? You'll get used to the robot's funny way of talking. He has a good metal heart. <laughs> Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. 
Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Tidus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Tidus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. You're coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. This had better be worth it. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. Security's down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. 
shut down Project Famous before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. We've successfully trialled our first micro-drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. I'm still here, you're not.
Look round for anything named Themis. Check. Well, if I was hiding a top-secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. Check. Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Okay, now let's see what this thing can do. That's the spirit. Should be pretty sick.
Sebastian no. Right then, no time for tears. Meet Sebastian, another of our countless microdrone allies. All named Sebastian, of course. You can't iterate on perfection. Destroy them, Sebastian, and for God's sake, be careful. You've made your father very proud, Sebastian. Oh, right, you should be able to access the Themis project room now. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day! London. Once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. 
These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Fuck me, I knew it! The life score algorithm, my algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah. This was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Fuck. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Fuck. Okay. Fine. It is done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world, and this group of... Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So did any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well... That's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You Auto did it. Now it was nothing, and you helped a little bit. Cass will be back eventually, and we could use some more help. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam, considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. I think I'm getting good at this DedSec stuff. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Okay, good. Thanks, I think. The bagsman is like that. Bit of a prick, but dead useful. Just ignore him if he's vexing you. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Is this relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Auto drive. <laughs>